Hello everybody, so welcome or welcome back to a new video. If you are new here, my name's Chloe and I'm an English literature student at the University of Northampton. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So I'm back with another what I've been reading this month. Um, this would be from March, which I wasn't reading much to be completely honest with you because lectures were starting to die off, we didn't really have much reading to do. So there's about two academic books and then I've got three books that I have either read, um, have started reading or there's one that I've literally just brought. So I just still wanted to make this video for you guys because last time you all really, really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the two books that I do physically have with me. So this is John Cooper Clark's Ten Years in an Open Lecture and The Great Gatsby. Now, I know I've spoke about The Great Gatsby in my previous What I've Been Reading This Month video, but as I had been reading this one as well, I just wanted to show you guys that I was still reading it because I was doing an assignment on it, so therefore it was still in my reading list for last month, basically. But anyway, moving on to John Cooper Clark. So John Cooper Clark is a performance poet, um, he's very punk, like it's a very punk kind of um, poetry, collect poetry collection. Um, I was studying this in 20th century literature and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like poetry but this I really did enjoy and watching his videos back and everything, like I would read a poem out to you but this video would probably get blocked because he does use a lot of swear words in it. Um, Actually, I don't think this one has one in it. It has bugger in, but that's not really. What is it? No. Okay, so this one's called Nothing. So I just wanted to be out to you guys because, like, I think you'll kind of get where I'm going with that I enjoyed this. So, nothing isn't anything, it's tasteless and it's flat. Nothing, if it's anything, is even less than that. I've got that certain nothing no one can do without. The Spanish call it nada, I call it nout. I take the train but don't care to travel by myself all the way from nowhere to get nowhere else. Nothing ever goes on, nothing ever ends. Say nothing to no one, it's nothing to do with them. Nothing going on and on, nothing wall to wall. It happens once and then it's gone, leaving bugger all. So, John Cooper Clark is a poet that it literally reads so, so quickly. Um, so there's no punctuation in it, so when you read it out, it's really hard. As you see a couple of times I did like slip a little bit, because I was just trying to, ah! So yeah, um, that's John Cooper Clark, and I did really enjoy it, to be honest with you. I think I read about half, half of the actual collection, and then we did a couple in lectures at the back of the book. So yeah, that's John Cooper Clark, and then obviously I spoke about The Great Gatsby in my last video. So if you haven't checked my last, what I've been reading out this month, I'll link it down below in the description. So next I'm going to move on to two books, two books, two books, that's by the same author. And um, these are on my iPad so I haven't physically got a copy of these. But um, the first one is Elias Grace by Margaret Atwood. And if you've watched the series on Netflix, then I definitely recommend reading the book because the book was so much better than the series on Netflix. Like, I can't even lie. Um, it's kind of a bit of a twist on Handmaid's Tale because it's about a handmaid. Um, in Ireland I loved it so much because it was so like traditional but in a nice way and it had so much behind it and it was just it was just so good like I really enjoyed it and then staying on Margaret Atwood at uh, Margaret Atwood I have started reading The Handmaid's Tale now if you're gonna read The Handmaid's Tale don't read it after reading A Lie Grace that's all I'm going to say because I am enjoying um, A Handmaid's Tale but I did prefer Eli Elias Grace so much better so I definitely recommend if you're going to read them two books maybe to read one and then read more books and then read the other one um, only because they're kind of like they kind of have the same idea to them but they don't if that makes sense I've never watched Handmaid's Tale my mum watched it all the time like she watched the whole of all the series so I want to watch it once I finish reading the book that's the plan um, but yeah that's the other two books well two of the three two of the four books that I've been reading out of university just for leisure like I don't know I never used to read that much and then since I started university it just feels odd if I'm not reading so now I like to read books for pleasure or like leisure sort of thing so yeah so the next book is one of my favorite books of the whole time and that is Weather and Heights by Emily Bronte now we have to read this for next year for our um, Victorian literature module 
Um, so I just decided that I was going to read it again now because it's one of my favourite all time books. Like, I think Weather and Heights is what made me fall in love with literature itself. Um, some people disagree, some people might agree, but yeah, this is my favourite book. Um, and then just moving on to one that I have literally just downloaded about half an hour ago, and this is called The Suspect by Fiona Barton. Um, I'm just going to read out the, um, which one is it? the little blurb bit for you guys, because obviously I don't know what it's about. So, yeah, is this, is this the blurb? blurb? Okay, so this is just the publisher description, so I'm just going to read this bit for you. So what if it was someone you knew? Utterly engrossing, I lived inside this book for two days, I'm still thinking about it, superb. This was by Shari LaPena, best-selling author of The Couple Next Door. Um, and then another one about it is... Oh, is this the... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so the Daily Express says... Fiona Barton is perceptive. Fiona Barton is perceptive, em empathetic, and a talented writer. So this makes me really, really excited. Um, it's called The Suspect, and it just looks so cool. And it's called the most addictive and clever new crime thriller of 2019. And I love crime thrillers. Like I don't know, it's like my I guess my kind of like favourite sort of book to read. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's what I've been reading this month as an English literature student or as you have, there's a couple that I've just started reading or like just brought. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and as per usual, all the night titles of the book will be left in the description box down below. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time for anyone. Bye!